fix here and yes, we're doing kitchen gadgets again because he had so much damn fun the last time. So I've got another host of weird and wonderful objects and we're going to see what works and what frankly needs to go back in the bin or back in the ideas station and be reworked. Let's go. I am excited. <laughs> this is called an Owl Express, the owl shaped boiled egg mold. Express yourself. Turn your boiled egg into an owl. Because <laughs> shouldn't all eggs look like owls? <laughs> nice packaging, nice packaging. Purple as well, one of my fave colours. Place shelled egg into the middle of the mould and close. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That, the egg seems too big. I mean, the eggs come out the side. <laughs> Is it specified for small eggs? <laughs> I know, close it! Okay! Place mould into cold water and leave for 10 minutes! It's already cooked! Okay, open mould and let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes. Oh my god, it's actually worked. <laughs> Why would you turn an egg into an owl? <laughs> I mean, there's there's a there's a way to pimp up your salad. Great. <laughs> Let's get to Katie Picks, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Although, it's really not anything you need in your cupboard. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever use it again. Spiralizer! Now this is actually something that I think everyone should have in their cupboard because they're just so damn useful. 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. You heard it here first, people. I've got myself a courgette here. It says that I need to take the top and bottom off of it. This goes on the end of this. It's essentially like a giant pencil sharpener but for your fruit and veg. Yeah! Well, that works. I've gone for a flat blade here, so I'm getting bigger cuts. I really like that. For a little handheld one that you don't need to like put on your tabletop and twizzle through, I think that's worked really, really well. So I actually, I'm gonna give that a Katie Picks. Oh, I mean, bit of wastage here, so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. But pretty good, pretty good. I'm a harsh critic. Well done. Like it. Genius. This is a lemon and lime spritzer. It's dishwasher friendly. It's adorable packaging, can I just say. Oh, it comes with a cap as well. That's genius. Chop off the end. And then we're going to take the big one, push it in and twist and then supposedly oh, yes oh, I mean that's a lot of juice coming out yeah yeah what would what I mean what would you use it for over your salad if you want to like just Fragrance the air a little bit, a little bit on your cell. Excellent, a bit sticky. Ah, oh, I've got a cut on me, I've got a cut, I've got a cut. <laughs> ah, for my lemon and lime sprayer. That for me, despite the fact that I have no idea why I'd use them, that gets a 10 out of 10. Yeah! <laughs> So here it is, the self-mixing Mag Cup, Mag Mag Cup, uh, colourful. I don't know if that's just the addition or if that's something really stand out about this particular item. I got it in red. Well, I don't know if I chose that. So I've got here what I would normally put in my travel cup, which is to make a cup of tea. But I'm starting to think that this is this is just a terrible decision. I'm going to put the water in first. Boiling hot water. I hope this hasn't got an aggressive stir on it. Tea bag and a splash of milk. 
Don't worry, I don't normally make my tea like this. Because that would be awful. You need to have tea bagging first. It's a fact. So I'm assuming this isn't really for tea and it's more for like a, a coffee latte sort of thing. Because that is an aggressive whisk on there. It's the sort of thing that you'd be sat at your desk and be peace and quiet and every, all of a sudden you just hear... Oh, Katie's making her tea again. <laughs> One of the most fabulously lazy inventions of our time. But for this contraption, I would give this a Katie Picks rating of 9 out of 10. It drops a point because I feel like you're limited. I don't really want a frothy tea. And I'm a tea drinker versus a coffee drinker, so. Sorry guys at Lazy Special Glass, though. So. <laughs> I actually think that's the name of the company. So there you have it. We had some amazing wins, such as that lemon and lime spritzer, which I absolutely love. If you like this video, please do let me know in the comments box below. I'd love to do some more if you think this is a good, good thing to do. Also, if you've got any good suggestions for gadgets, get them in there too. Thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye.